Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create lookalike audiences in Meta Ads. So, step number one, we are going to go to our business manager. So I want you to go to business.facebook.com. If you don't have a business manager or a business suite as it's called, please create one. And from there, what I want you to do is click on the drop down menu, all tools and from here, you're going to find an option that is called audiences. If you cannot see the option under the shortcuts, please scroll down and you're going to see this option under advertise. You're going to see this option called audiences. So click on audiences and we are going to go straight to this page. Now, before we begin, please subscribe and like the video. It helps tremendously to create new content. So if you are not subscribed, please make sure you are by the end of the video. It really helps us to create a lot more content. And now let's go straight to the point. Look, I like audiences. I want you to click on create an audience. Then you're going to select look, I like audience. Before we start, a prerequisite here is you need to have at least one or more custom audiences. So you need to have at least one custom audience based on people who visited your website before or maybe people that are part of your CRM, or maybe people that interacted with your Facebook page or Instagram account, because lookalike audiences are created on the back of these custom audiences. We also have a video on how to create custom audiences and how to create remarketing audiences. So assuming now that we have a couple of custom audiences in place, we're going to click here, create audience. We're going to click on lookalike audience and we're going to come to this screen. First, we need to select the source. The source means a lookalike audience, first of all, means an audience that looks like some other audience that we have already created, right? So we need to select the source. We're going to click here. We're going to go to other sources. And here we can use the search bar, for example, and I can select a pre-existing custom audience that I created before. For example, people who currently like my page or people who open but didn't submit a form. So we're going to select the source, the source of the lookalike audience that we're going to create. Then we're going to select the location. So let me say, for example, here, India. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select the similarity. The similarity is based on basically a scale of 1% to 10%. In order to understand how this works, actually, so what 1% means and what 5% means and what 10% means, it means basically that the system will take, in this case, for example, India's population. So India has a population of X and 1% similarity means that it's going to slice a 1% audience of India and it's going to create basically a lookalike audience. So it's going to find the 1% of the Indian audience that has similar characteristics, gender, age group, what people do in the platform with the source audience. If you say 5%, the system is going to actually slice a 5% of Indian meta Facebook and Instagram population that has similar characteristics with the source audience. If we say 10%, the system will slice at 10%. Now, why this is important? Because different countries have different population, right? So, for example, India has a big population, but Singapore, for example, a 1% audience in Singapore is, let's say, 52,000 people, whereas a 1% audience, for example, in Australia or India or in the United States is a lot higher, right? So 1% audience in Australia is 223,000 people. So how a lookalike audience works, this line here is not just arbitrarily you choose, for example, the level of similarity. What the system does is goes into the population of the country, slices a 1%, a 2%, or a 10% of that population that has similar characteristics with your source audience. And once this is, let's say, uh, done, meaning once you're happy with your selection, first of all, you can even create lookalike audiences in bulk. For example, you can create five or even more lookalike audiences in one go. So once you're happy, for example, with your lookalike audience selection, so let's create a 3%, a 
and a 10% audience here. You're going to click on create an audience. So the system now will create these lookalike audiences. What kind of audiences you need to create? Think about lookalike audiences of your best customers, lookalike audiences of people who visited your website, lookalike audiences of people who, let's say, bought recently, lookalike audiences of people who like your Facebook page or follow your Instagram account. How can you use now this lookalike audience? What you need to do is you need to go to your ad manager and let's say, for example, that we created this audience. Now we want to make sure that we're going to use this audience, right? So when you create a campaign and let me actually take things to the beginning. So let's say, for example, we are creating a traffic campaign here. So when we create this campaign and the time comes for us to select our targeting, then what we're going to do is we're going to come here and under custom audiences, we're going to click on this bar and we're going to select lookalike audiences and we're going to select the lookalike audiences that we want to use as our targeting. And that's how these lookalike audiences become our targeting for our meta ads campaigns. That's it. That's how you can create and use lookalike audiences on meta ads. If you like this video, you are able to create lookalike audiences. Please subscribe and like. It really helps us tremendously to create new content. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.